myself living back at home, my last semester at school in Florida, I literally, my apartment was a TV, a couch, and a mattress in the corner. And I was living on a box of minute rice because I just didn't have any money to make bills like match up. And my mom calling me and said, we're worried about you, will you please come home? And I knew it's what I needed to do to survive, but I also knew that I was giving up on any theater that was a theater major at the time, that I was basically just saying, I'm not pursuing this dream anymore. So in my mid-20s, I'm living back at home with my parents, 100 pounds overweight, working at a bar, literally with no dream, no ambition, and just surviving day to day. And I don't know if anybody in here has ever been in a situation where it's just getting from alarm to bed, and there's nothing to look forward to, but that's where I was. And um, it sucked. And I was bartending at a bar in North Dallas, and a buddy of mine that I was bartending with was seeing some success losing weight. And I was like, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like Robert talked about earlier, somebody was having success. This was way before coaching ever existed, but he was talking a lot. I said, what are you doing? Tell me about it. Because I wanted that hope, right? Robert talked about that. I needed hope. I had no hope in my life. And he said, oh, I'm doing these DVDs. And I said, no, man. Chicks do DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy's having success. I am not in my rotund state over here, yet I still told him no. And I have to remind myself that at any time I ever present a product or this coaching opportunity to somebody and they tell me no, to not take that personally because I was a no. But I kept watching. I kept watching. You kept losing weight, dang it. So I came back around. I'm like, all right, man, level with me. What else? Because this was like, this was back like in Ephedra days. Anybody remember Ephedra days? Oh, uh, yeah. For the right pill. Ooh, miss me some Ephedra. I found P90X disease was looking for Ephedra, actually. Uh, <laughs> ask him about it sometime. So he's like, no, I'm just doing these DVDs. Come over and check it out. So he pops in Power 90. Anybody here start with Power 90? Tony and his tiny little shorts and bad jokes. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, so these two DVDs. And this rubber band and those tiny shorts and that dude is gonna change my world. <laughs> All right. And I was dead broke, guys. Four maxed out, four, three. Yeah. Three working on a fourth maxed out credit card. Living at home with my parents, so I couldn't afford my own place. So I really couldn't afford this program, but I was like, I had no hope, right? This was the one glimmer of hope that I had. So I said, fine, figure out a way. <laughs> Let's max out the fourth one. Let's get the program. <laughs> And in two weeks of doing that program, I started seeing results, and I was excited about something in my life for the first time in probably three to four years. I looked forward to that time with Tony because that was my time in the morning. I felt like I had a friend in this. And this was before coaching. And I plugged into the message boards on Beachbody.com. Anybody ever do message boards? Uh, they still hey. run, I assume. They're yeah, they're up. still there. Uh, now with social media, we're kind of spoiled. There was no Facebook, right? But I started meeting other individuals that were doing the same program I was. Some were behind me a few days. Some people were a few days or weeks or months ahead of me. But for the first time, I wasn't alone in what I was trying to do. Somebody else cared whether I showed up or not. And if I disappeared for a few days, I'd get an email, not, not, not in a condescending way, not in a scolding way. I would just get an email saying, hey, thinking about you, hadn't seen you on the board in a little while. How are you doing? And I couldn't shut up about this program. I did two rounds of it, and I was one of the first people to ever do P90X. I remember seeing the preview on the website. And as I still, I, I, was getting, I was getting thinner, but there was no muscle. There was no, I was just happy to be the losing size, right? And I remember seeing the preview the first time of P90X, and everything was black and rugged and cool. And I was like, that scares the fool out of me. I have to do it. <laughs> So I did a couple rounds of P90X, and my body literally transformed. And you, you thought before you couldn't shut me up, you couldn't shut me up about this program because it was changing my life. The aesthetics were cool, but who I was becoming was even more exciting. To the point where I was able to go to my wife and say, let's move to New York City. I'm ready to pursue this acting thing for real. And within six months of having that conversation with my wife, I'm living in New York City, in line, auditioning for Broadway shows every morning. Living the dream, right? It was awesome. Fast forward after four years in New York City, my wife and I decided that New York was cool. We're tired of snow. We're, <laughs> uh, we're tired of snow. We're going to come home. And 
with this last year, we were able to bring my wife home from her corporate job, where she was, she was supporting seven vice presidents at an aerospace company that dominated her time. So I don't know where you are in your journey. You could be a coach for a long time that's stuck. You could be somebody's guest that you're here and you're like, I just thought we were doing a P90X3 workout. I don't know. <laughs> why aren't we sweating yet? Jimmy, why are you in boots? Like, but I'm just going to tell you the same thing my tip was here. Stay teachable. What I love about learning from Christine Dwyer, two-time superstar diamond coach, she could put her feet up and go, I got this thing. I've never seen somebody ask more questions who's crazy successful than Christine. I learn from her all the time. So learn something, activate it immediately, and then come back and tweak it, and your life will change, because it has mine. Thank you for letting me share my story. <laughs>